This is lab B5, electrolysis of potassium iodide. Pouring a solution of potassium iodide into the dish. Connecting the pencils that have been sharpened at both ends. Of course, so the graphite connected to the wire and will be then dunked into the solution. Pay attention to the markings on the batteries. The marking that is negative is the end of the battery in which electrons come spewing out. Throughout this video that will be the black alligator wire and the green wire will be connected to the positive end of the battery. Phenolphthalein which you know is an acid-base indicator added. And the electrodes are placed into the solution. Now it's time to make some careful observations. help identify chemicals that are present, observe when the pencil attached to the negative end of the electrode is taken out of the dish and wiped on the paper. Next, the pencils will be swapped out for inert nichrome wires. Make the same observations as before. Be sure you pause the video at some point and answer questions 9 through 12. Now we'll proceed to the last section of the lab and swap out the nichrome electrodes for paper clips. Ask yourself, what are paper clips made of? Make some careful observations. This time, the paper clips are moved around so that the products of the oxidation and reduction can get near each other. Did you notice that the green electrode paper clip appears to mop up the pink caused by the phenolphthalein? What reactions are happening at each electrode that could be causing this? Be sure and recheck your reduction potential table for ideas. And check out that green precipitate that appears to be forming. Google green rust to get some more information about what might be going on in the dish. Notice when the electrodes are taken out this time there is no chemical that wipes on to the paper as last time. Rewind the video as necessary to finish your observations and wrap up your lab with questions 13 through 16.